Hi everyone. Welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In my previous video, I already discussed about design of halfway dipole antenna at 2.4 GHz operating frequency. So in that design, I used driven model solution type. So now here I am going to discuss about difference between driven model solution type and driven terminal solution type. And this is the design of the half wave dipole antenna using driven model solution type. So now we have the solution type is driven model. And in HFSS, there are different types of the solution types that are driven model, driven terminal, transient, and eigen mode. So we use driven model solution type to calculate the input impedance, whereas Driven terminal solution type used to calculate the far zone radiation patterns. So traditionally, the driven model solution type is used for most HFSS simulation, especially those that include passive high frequency structures. So that high frequency structures such as microstrips, waveguides, and transmission lines. So the driven model and driven terminal solution types are similar. When solving a given problem, we can use same mathematical calculation. And what is the driven model solution type and what is the driven terminal solution type? So we use a driven model solution type to calculate the model based S parameters, the S matrix solutions will be expressed in terms of the incident power and reflected force of the waveguide modes. So whereas we can use driven terminal solution type to calculate the terminal based S parameters of multi-conductor transmission line, multi-conductor transmission line force. So now here in the driven terminal, the S parameter solutions will be expressed in terms of terminal voltages are current. So now here in this solution, I use driven model solution type. So and port is lumped port. And this is the excitation port. So now here I use lumped port excitation. So now we are in, in this design, if we set the solution type as the driven model, the lumped port is defined as one sheet. The lumped port is defined as one sheet. And we add the integration line. Now here I used integration line. Go to the properties, click on the, this is the general case. And after that most, now where the new integration line is defined. New integration line is defined. So we, we add integration line, but whereas in driven terminal solution type, the sheet is defined as a port. We just need to set one neighboring piece, PEC as a reference. PEC is a perfect electric conductor as a reference. One neighboring perfect electric conductor as a reference. So now here, I will change the solution type. Go to the HFSS, select solution type and select driven terminal solution type. And previous I used driven model solution type. So once check the validity, what you can observe. So you can observe on the boundaries and excitation. In previous case, I used a driven model solution type. In that case, uh, excitation port is set to the New line integration that lumped port excitation with I, I added integration line. So now here I selected the solution type is driven terminal solution type. Now here the error is boundaries and excitation. So first to delete, I will delete this excitation. Okay, and after that.
select the port right click on this port go to assign excitation click on the lump port ports so now we are the pole 1 pole 1 is upper radiating element <coughs> pole 1 underscore 1 is lower radiating element so now here i selected the solution type is driven terminal solution type so the, the sheet is uh, the term the sheet is defined as the port we just need to set the one neighboring pec so now here i will select that neighboring pec is pole 1 underscore 1 pole 1 underscore 1 is the lower radiating element it act as a pec as the reference line so click on the ok button So now check the validity. So now check the validity. Go to HFSS. Click on the validity check. So all are successfully validated. Now start the simulation. Go to HFSS. Click on analyze all. The simulation is started. So simulation is completed and this is the design of the uh, driven model solution type of your dipole antenna this is the design of the driven terminal solution type of your dipole antenna at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency so now observe the simulation results and this is the s parameter result s parameter value so driven model solution type at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency the return loss value is minus 25.2 as well and here in driven terminal solution type the s parameter resultant values okay uh, at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency uh, the value is minus 17.4 as well This is the VSWR plot driven model solution type, and here driven models uh, driven terminal solution type. This is the VSWR plot. VSWR plot driven terminal, and this is the gain pattern of driven model solution type 3D radiation polar plot. Now, here. So this is the 3D polar plot of the driven terminal solution type. So that is the difference between driven model solution type and driven terminal solution type. In driven model, we use new line integration and whereas in driven terminal solution type, so one neighboring port will act as a PEC reference line. So we just, uh, we need to set one neighboring PEC as a reference. 